the perfect void curve fitting in Microsoft Excel. Curve fitting is the process of constructing a curve or mathematical function that has the best fit to a series of data. Fitted curves can be used as an aid for data visualization to conclude values of a function where no data are available and to summarize the relationship among two or more variables. The equation for Gaussian curve is y is equals to a exponential minus x minus b the whole square divided by 2c square where a is the height of the peak, b is the position and c is full width half maxima. Similarly, equation for Cauchy curve is y is equals to i divided by 1 plus x minus a divided by gamma the whole square where i is intensity, a is position and gamma is scale parameter as the void curve is sum of the function of Gaussian and Lorentzian or Cauchy. Therefore, y is equals to function of Gaussian plus function of Lorentzian where fg is Gaussian function and fl is Lorentzian function. Okay, so let's try to fit this type of data. So we have x and y values. Let's plot a scattered graph of x and y. And let me change its appearance. Okay, now our graph is ready. Now I need three columns, one for Gaussian, one for Cauchy and one for Voigt, which is Gaussian plus Cauchy. Then there will be chi square. So for Gaussian, we need three variables that is these are A, B and C. That's the values of A, B and C are 1, 1 and 1. Now let's write down the equation for the Gaussian curve I2 that is a into exponential minus a2 that is x minus i3 that is b power to 2 divided by 2 into i4 power to 2. Let's press enter and double click on the small box so it will fill the column. But now we have not added the dollar sign in front of variables that's why it is not showing any value. So let's put the dollar sign in front of all the variables that is i2, i3 and i4 and now again double click the small box so it will fill the column. Let's plot this curve also on the same graph so we can add a curve give it some series name then x value and then y value. The brown colored line is because of the Gaussian curve as the variables are very low that's why it is not showing as a curve but it is showing as a straight line so let's change the variables maybe we can put the value of a up to 100 b as 30 and c as 5 now you can see the shape of the Gaussian curve let me modify the appearance of this curve also I like to keep it as a blue colored line Next, the variables for the Cauchy curve. So in this case, we need three variables. They are i, alpha and gamma. Let's assume the value of these variables is 1, 1 and 1. So now let's write the equation for the Cauchy curve, which is equals to k2 that is i divided by 1 plus a2 that is x minus k3 that is alpha divided by k4 divided by k4 square that is gamma. Let's put the dollar sign in front of the variables so that they will not change the column. And press the enter and also fill the column by double clicking the small box. Now let's plot this curve also on the same graph. So in this case we can add a new series with the name Cauchy and the x values and the y values. 
Now this green dotted line is because of the Cauchy curve. As the value of variables is very small, that's why we are not able to see the shape of the Cauchy curve. But it's there. So let's change the variables to 100, 30 and 5. So we can see the curve. Now let me change the appearance of this curve also. In this case, I want a blue colored line. After this, the void which is Gaussian plus Cauchy. So will be C2 plus D2. And we can also expand this to fill all the columns. And let's plot again the values of void curve on the same graph. This time I want a black colored line. And lastly, we want chi square, which is the square of the difference between the actual value and the calculated value. So B2 minus E2, the whole square. And finally, sum of chi square, which is the sum of all the numbers in F column. Now everything is ready. What we need is one addings from Excel which is known as solver. This solver is generally available in the data menu but if it is not present we can install it from the menu. So go to Excel options and then add-ons and then press the button go. It will show up the possible add-ons. Select the solver add-in and press ok. So after that it will show up in data menu. For fitting we need to press the solver button. So it will show a new window which is like this. Here we can select the target cell which is to be minimized. So target cell is sum of chi square and the value of sum of chi square must be minimum. So we will select minimum and then we will select the value of variables which are Gaussian and Cauchy variables and then only just press the solve button. So it will change the values of variable so that it can fit the data of calculated value to the actual value. After doing 2-3 times with the different variables, we can, have a, we can have a perfectly matching curve which is the black color line perfectly matching with the red colored line. So this is a perfectly fitted data. If you like this video, please click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more updates.